friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It. And today we're gonna make these DIY shaker wands. I don't know if you've seen these on Etsy or Instagram, but they are so cute and they're customizable. You can do them all different kinds of ways, different colors, but the specific ones I'm making today are inspired by a post I saw on Instagram by Wouldn't That Be Something. And I'll share a link to her Instagram in the description below this video because she has so many cute little crafts and DIYs that she shares. I think y'all will really like following her on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get started on these. And so first of all, I have some plastic ornaments. It is nearing the end of May, and so it is hard to find Christmas ornaments. I had to order these on Amazon. If you're wanting to make holiday-specific ones closer to Christmas, obviously you can find them probably in Michaels or any craft store like that. But these are from Amazon, and they're kind of the flat disc-shaped ones. Um, the round ones would be super cute too. There's even heart-shaped ones, but I couldn't find any of those. So we're gonna use this one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the little lid off. It just pops right off. And we're gonna stuff it with all these goodies. So I have all the first stuff. I'm saving the jingle bells for the very end, but we have smiley face beads, stars, these, and then I also have some different kind of sequins. So we're just gonna stuff them in here with fun things that they can shake around. So I'm gonna do some pom poms first. I have some big ones, and then I have some smaller size ones as well. And I'll have all these supplies that I use linked in the description below this video. Everything I have, I ordered online, so I know that it's available to get online. We're stuff some in there. I'm gonna add some of these cute little smiley face beads. Like that, and then we're gonna add some beads. So you can add whatever you want. Obviously I'm doing super girly ones because I have three girls, but you can obviously do um, different colors if you want it to be a little bit more boyish or if you want it to be themed like all purples or all yellows for a specific party type, you can make mermaid ones or unicorn, a dinosaur, whatever. Just have fun with it. So I'm gonna add some of these little uh, stars I got, just anything. I kind of wanted to stick to this pastel color. So just adding a little things with pastels. And every now and then you can kind of put your hand at the end, shake it, see how it's looking. I'm gonna add a few more pom-poms. This is what we're gonna use at the end is the dowel rod. So if you kind of wanna stir it up at some point, you can use the dowel rod to stick it in there, kind of move the things around. Hard. all the beads got stuck on one side so okay so it's decently full right now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these little sequins I'm just gonna drop them in there I have like some little silver stars I should have shown you these these are just plain sequins I ordered these on Amazon as a little set so plain ones but these little stars are super cute I'm gonna drop some of those in there I'm probably going to make a big mess. If you're not familiar with working with sequins, they're really messy. I found these. My girls love all things smiley face. So I found these little smiley face sequins online. I can't remember where they're from, but I'll link them. I'm sure it's either Michaels or Amazon. But they're super cute. They're pastels as well. So I'm going to stick some of those in there. They're kind of flying everywhere. Okay. Shake it up. I think the sequins are super fun, so I might add some more actually. Okay, you kind of want to be pretty full, so let's see. Add a couple more smiley faces. I'm gonna add some more pom poms. You want to be full. Oh, that might be too full because now you can't hear it shaking. You want to be full but not too full where you can't hear it shaking. Let's see. There you go. That's pretty good. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take this stick again and kind of try to swirl it around. And if you go back, like, you can add if you realize, you know what, I need more little small beads. But like I said, these are just the ones that I'm using. So obviously anything that you pick will be good. And it's always fun to use whatever you have on hand. So get creative. Okay. 
So we're good. So what we're going to do, oh, their things are escaping. Probably need to stand, I'm going to stand this up out of the way so that it doesn't spill. Okay. So what we're going to do, we have these lid, the lid that came with it. This is the dangerous part. I don't know. I couldn't think of an easier way to do this. So I'm sure one of you will have a much better idea. But um, the one that I saw somebody make, they use scissors to kind of make a bigger hole right here in the center. And that really seemed to be the best way to do it. So ideally you want a big enough hole that this dowel stick can go through the center. So I'm gonna stick my, I have tiny little like Fisker scissors. I'm gonna stick them in the hole that's already there. And I'm basically just going to spin it around. Hopefully you can see that. This metal is very um, thin and like dinky. It is not hard to mess with at all. And it's not sharp. So if you spin it around and little parts peel up like this, it's not sharp at all. So this looks more dangerous than it is. Obviously, if you're doing this craft with kids, the fun part for them is picking out the beads and sticking it in the ornament. This part right here is not a good part for your kids to do, obviously. So just kind of wiggle it around, make a decent size hole. Okay, so that's enough that I can kind of stick the dowel rod through it like this. So what you're gonna do is once you have it through there, it's kind of made it whopper jawed, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's the hardest part of the whole thing. It's kind of making a hole. Obviously, if you wanna use a drill, do that. If you wanna use pliers, um, I kept my scissors closed. Obviously, if you do this and stick it through there, it's much sharper. So I kept my scissors closed and just kind of twisted them like this, poked a hole and twisted them through there. Like I said, the metal is really soft and not sharp. So even these little shards, which we're gonna cover those anyways, but it's not, it's not pokey but still a good thing for you to do and not your kiddos. Okay, so now we have our ornament, it's full. What I like to do is, oh, every time I lay down something escapes, hold on, get back in there. Okay, I'm gonna cover the end of the dowel stick because I don't want you to be able to see it inside of the ornament. So I have a little Sharpie and I'm gonna mark how much of the dowel stick, this little wood piece is inside the ornament. So about to there is how much is inside and we're gonna cover it. Okay, let me set it down real quick carefully without spilling it. Okay, so now we know we wanna go to there. I'm gonna cover it with ribbon. If you don't have ribbon on hand, anything like a pipe cleaner could be fun, any kind of little twine, you could paint the end. You don't have to do anything. If you're not worried about it, let's see if I can put some hot glue up there. So I already have my hot glue gun plugged in. I'm going to cover the end. And we're gonna wrap just this part of this wood little dowel rod with ribbon just so that it's covered and you can't really see it through the ornament. So now you don't have to do it very often, but every now and then just add a little tiny touch of hot glue as you wrap it. just to secure it on there so that when you shove it into the ornament, it doesn't, all the ribbon doesn't come undone. Let's do another one. For some reason, I always have a bad habit of setting the hot glue gun on the left side of me, but I'm right-handed, so constantly having to reach across myself. I'm not really sure why I did that. Okay, remember, this does not have to be perfect. It's gonna be hidden inside with all of the cute stuff in there. It's really just to make it secure. These are super cute little party favors, even if you wanna do a party and have the kiddos make these and you could go ahead and ahead of time, you know, get this part ready, but let them fill the ornaments. These would be super cute kind of DIY um, activity, little craft to do at the birthday party and have it super themed to whatever the theme is. I even saw like uh, my daughter, my middle daughter, Ellie loves unicorns. And so I found like unicorn sequins and confetti and stuff like that. And so that'd be super cute. I'm sure there's like dinosaur and all different kinds of fun themes. Okay, I'm just gonna cover up where I had the Sharpie. Okay, just hold that spot for a second so that it can dry all the way. Okay, cut the ribbon. Just add one more touch of glue to where the final little end is. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool off for one second. I have hot glue everywhere, little hot glue strings. Okay, now we're gonna slide this part up. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna slide this inside. And now, if you're not familiar with doing your own ornaments, these little prongs right here, just, you squeeze them and they go inside the ornament like that. I'm telling you guys, these beads are little runaway beads. Okay, so you squeeze those little prongs, put them inside the ornament. They go inside the plastic, they hold the little cap on. And you're gonna push it down. And then this, these things are so soft metal, I'm telling you, that you kind of have to like bend them, re-bend them to get them to fit around the outside of the ornament again. Okay, I think we're there. Okay, so now it's all the way on. I'm, I left this little hook. I guess you could just take this off the little prongs that go inside, but it does help hold the cap on and I wanted the cap to stay on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put hot glue around the base, all right here. And we're gonna cover this up so it can be super messy if it needs to be. Just make sure that it's covered. That way, even if your hole is way too big and you have tiny beads in there that you're afraid might escape, just cover it up all the way. Especially if you have little kiddos in the house, you don't want anything inside of here to be a choking hazard. So just make sure it's super secure closed off. So I have a ton, if you can see, let's see, a ton of very lumpy hot glue. So I'm going to let that cool for a second. So what I have is I went ahead and used my Cricut. I have my girl's names right here. I went ahead and used my Cricut to cut out some vinyl so that each of their names could go across their own little shaker wand. Obviously, if you don't have a Cricut machine, that's totally okay. Just go ahead and get some stickers and use some stickers from the craft store. And obviously, you don't have to decorate it at all. You don't have to personalize it or put anything on it. It is really cute without any words on it. But if you want to personalize it or put happy birthday, um, summertime, what a best day ever, put any cute little phrase on it, use a Cricut, cut out some adhesive vinyl, or just use some stickers from the craft store. Okay, so let's see if it's dry. Okay, it's mostly dry. So what we're going to do, I have my name. I'm going to go ahead and do Macy's right here. Okay, I have Macy's name on here. I've already pulled it off so let me get over it so I can make sure it's super centered sometimes it's hard on something that's like curved you kind of got to pull it slowly to make sure everything is stuck perfect Okay, so there's Macy's. We're gonna add a little bit of some decorations. Okay, and so I have some really fun little uh, shimmery tinsel that I got. And so I'm gonna wrap a little piece around there just to make it really sparkly. This stuff, <laughs> I'm warning you, is like a huge mess. Uh, when you cut it, it kind of sheds everywhere. So I'm just gonna do a little wrap around. Nothing too crazy. Just gonna, you can barely see what I'm doing. I know it's so sparkly. I'm just gonna tie. Tie it kind of in a little knot around that. And then when I cut the ends, I'm gonna to have to put a touch of hot glue. Otherwise it's going to go everywhere. So let's see. I'm, I can't stand how this stuff sheds everywhere. So I'm just gonna put a tiny touch of hot glue at the very end where I kind of cut it. other end oh I see the other end is kind of already bent over it was the end that was already part of the thing so it's on wire so if you can kind of bend the ends it might not shed that bad okay so I'm gonna kind of push it up around there like that see how much how much shedding has happened just from cutting it okay that's super cute I thought it'd be fun to add some jingle bells. So let's just see, let's just play around with this and see. I'm not exactly sure. I have this little yellow and white banker's twine. So I was gonna see about, let's, let me cut a fresh end. Y'all are gonna watch me experiment. I'm not sure about this. I was wondering what it'd be like to put a couple jingle bells on, e on some ends. So let's, so I have one jingle bell on this end. Let's go ahead and tie it off. Now, obviously, like I said, if you have little kiddos in the house, anything like this that's a choking hazard, you have to be very careful. Either just don't use it or, you know, make sure it is glued on. All of my kids are older, so I don't have to worry about 
all of the choking hazard stuff as much anymore. Cut this end like that. Okay, I thought it'd be cute to do, to let it kind of hang down. So I'm gonna put one jingle bell on each end, let's see. And like I said, just decorate yours however you want to. There's no right or wrong. The idea is that they're just super fun and festive. Um, something that your kiddo will love. So you know your kiddo or whoever you're giving it to as a gift. Honestly, I know maybe I'm weird, but I feel like if I got one of these as a gift with my name on it, I would think it was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I know I'm probably too old to want something like this, but and I don't really have anywhere to put it, but I just love really fun, bright things. Okay, I'm just going to tie this around here like I did the tinsel. Push it up. There's just kind of little bells, little jingle bells hanging from it. So I think that's cute. It'll be something extra to jingle and make noise on there when they shake it. Okay, so let's leave those on there. Kind of have all these really fun things. So let's see. I have like fuzzy stuff. I was just going to kind of play around and see what I wanted to use, how it looked. So let's try this. I like the jingle bells. I think maybe they're too long. So let me go back. Hold on. I actually like how it looks way closer to the top like that, where they're just like up there. So I'm going to try and retie them back where they're really tight up there. Okay, now that I've tied them on there way closer to the base of the stick, I think I like that way better. They were just too long. I could see them getting stuck on something or annoying my daughter. So let's see how that looks. Okay. I kind of want all my knots to be in the front. Obviously, the front where the name is is kind of where you want all the cutest stuff to be. Okay, so now you have a shaker, has jingle bells, it's super cute. Let me move everything out of the way, so hopefully you can see it. So I think those turned out super cute. Obviously you can cut your ribbons as short or as long as you want to, but you get the idea. It's just a super fun little craft, something fun for summer to make them excited that summer's about to start. Oh, I didn't, I didn't trim this end, so trim my ends. Okay, so I just want to show you real quick, if you can see that yellow dowel rod inside of there, it is not very obvious. It's obviously covered with tons of beads and sequins and all kinds of fun stuff. And everything moves around when your kid's playing with it. But if it wasn't covered, it wouldn't be bad, but it obviously is way more cute to have a little touch of color in there. So if you want, find some ribbons and twine, um, like I said, pipe cleaners and cover the sticks before you stick that part in there. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, I have all the supplies that I use linked in the description below this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye!